Okay, to get this video started, I actually have some wine that I want to drink at the same time of doing my makeup. Um, this is actually a new wine I'm trying out, and it's called Cupcake Vineyards. Um, it's going like viral right now on Facebook because of some person that shared like a whole bunch of wines to try. And this was one of them, so I decided to try it out. And then someone told me it actually tastes like cupcakes, which is surprising because it says cupcakes right here. So it looks all ugly right now because my husband had to open it real quick to see if he needed a, 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 cor a corkscrew or something like that. But I'm kind of scared. I don't have never tried any other wine other than Stella Rose. The, um, I don't even remember, there was like three, one, three that I tried out with Stella Rose. My favorite one, my favorite by far, was the peach one by Stella Rose. So, to try a different one kind of worries me. What if I don't like it? And then I have this whole bottle there for no reason. Okay. <gasps> what if it explodes? <gasps> That was kind of scary. Imagine if it was cold, it would have went everywhere. It's not really too cold right now. It's like the perfect temp. That like, be like, um, a cold, but a warm. It's still cold. Like room temperature, boys. Oh my god, that was scary. I thought I was gonna drop it everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is my vasito. I don't know how I feel about taste. I mean, smell. And this one actually has like a higher percentage of alcohol than a regular wine bottle and on the thing it does say that it will cause a little bit of a hangover which i didn't realize that until after i bought it and tomorrow's easter sunday so que dios me perdone pero mañana baby you want to try it please try it first so i don't die <laughs> my husband tells me I'm weird because I'm like he's like why do you taste the liquor why don't you just put it down your throat and not taste it but I don't know like I don't know how to that's the problem like I can't just like swallow it for some reason I have to taste it and then he's like just practice it with water I'm like okay well water's different anything I don't taste that cupcake taste it's not bad it's not like ew that's gross but it's not like oh my god it's so good are my like first impressions of it it'd probably be like a a four or a five out of a ten it definitely is smooth it doesn't feel like that drying type of wine I don't know if you guys know what I mean by when I say drying but yeah I wouldn't probably buy it again I'm really just going for like a very glowy bronze look with this nothing too crazy so with a morphe m441 brush it's just a big old blending brush I'm going into my faces by Rob uh, palette and I'm going to be grabbing this very light brown shade. And it's going to be my overall transition color. Alright, and then I also asked on Instagram to ask me some questions. That way I can talk a little bit more during my video. Okay, so the first question was how old am I? I am currently 21 years old and I am turning 22 July 15th. That's so weird to say because, like, I don't know. My 
can't believe I'm already that old, honestly. Like, time is passing by so quick. And look, look, I'm 22 years old. Next, I'm gonna grab this um, highlight, like a gold highlight. I'm gonna be using that as a um, shadow for my eyelid. So the next question is if I plan to have any more kids. I get this question frequently frequently, way more than it should actually be asked. Um, as of right now, my husband and I decided that we don't want to have any more kids for the meanwhile. Just because we want to make sure we're like more financially ready i guess in a way we have like our very very own house we actually want to move somewhere out of state so my next shadow i'm gonna go into the um, anastasia soft glow glam glow soft glam palette and i'm going into rustic which is right here and i'm gonna be adding that into my inner my outer corner so my next question was how did i get into makeup and what age did i get into makeup um i want to say i got into makeup like around my senior year so i was like 17 years old um and i was just doing like a little bit of foundation um some eyelashes i was doing my eyebrows and lipstick i wasn't doing like the full on glam like i do right now um so, I started getting into makeup because I was watching a lot of Jaclyn Hill. I used to watch a lot of Jaclyn Hill back in the day. Um, I still kind of do right now. Not too much, though. Um, so, she's kind of one of my biggest, like, influencers that I looked up to while doing makeup. Um, I started doing makeup on other people, like, in 2017, I believe. Yeah. 2017 and I've just been doing it since then um, I'm currently going to get my license for est esthetician so I can be a certified makeup artist and all that stuff if you guys have noticed I really, I'm not really blending when I apply the product at first um, I just kind of tap the product to where I want it that way the color pigmentation can go onto the lid and then once I know how much of pigmentation I want of the product, I go in with my blending brush that I did to use my first transition color. And then I start blending the edges of that color. And I feel like that's helped me a lot as to maintaining the color of the shadow. My primer, I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I got this little one because I wanted to try it out because everybody was like raving about it, saying it was so good. Um, my honest opinion, I feel like there's something better, but I'm just using it to finish it up because it was still a little expensive. So another question I was asked was if I had any big plans for 2020. Um, I wanted to travel a lot, but with the coronavirus going on, we had to already postpone one of our trips, which was supposed to be like one of the big ones of this year. Um, and we can't really book it again through the year because we're going to be really busy. We, I'm actually in the works right now, kind of looking through researching stuff up because me and Mr. want to do something that's big to us and if it does come true we can't wait to announce it i'm like one to speak stuff into existence but then i don't like saying too much because there are people that give you like the the malojo so i don't like saying a lot so my foundation is going to be the fenty beauty foundation um i got this in 185 so for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. And I use this for my under eyes. 
I use different shades of the concealer, but I use a light sand for my under eyes just because it does give me a little brighter look on bottom that I like. And I kind of place a dot like that everywhere. With my contour, I'm going to use a cream contour today actually. I'm going in with the Anastasia cream contour kit. Another question I was asked is if I were to travel one, some, one place or somewhere, where would I travel to and why? Um, I feel like I would really want to go to like, um, where is that? Bora Bora. Because it's just like so beautiful out there. That's like the dream vacation. It's Bora Bora. Realistically, if I were to be able to go somewhere right now, it'd probably be Mexico. And like, and I mean Mexico of like where I'm from, or where my family's from, because I'm not from there actually. Um, which is in Michoacan just because I haven't been there in a while and I really miss my family over there it's been like six so yeah it's been like six years since I went six or seven years and I don't know why I always have one of my family members ask this it's always one of my family members they always ask if I love them and I'm like what <laughs> like why can't you guys just ask normal questions but yes I do Is not the vibe okay what's the question i was asked Fuck. oh the question was if i start getting paid by you if i'm getting paid by youtube already the answer to that is i am not getting paid by youtube right now i am monetized to get paid So that means that I'm allowed to put ads in my videos. And YouTube is like so, I don't know. I can understand why it gets like very unmotivating to people. But so the long story short, yes, I am. No, I'm not getting paid by YouTube as of right now, but yes, I am getting paid i am monetized to get paid so i can get paid if i want to but like i don't post videos honestly okay for bronzer i'm gonna use this becca times chrissy palette I feel like I didn't drink this as much as I should have during the video. Imagine me with this look on my wedding day. Me serving some wine. Mm -hmm. If you guys have not yet seen my wish slash review go check it out because these lashes have been my favorite ever so far and they're such a good price and these are the 706 lashes okay to make this look like super glam and dramatic and like the best thing ever i'm gonna add red lipstick this red lipstick is gonna finish off the whole look and just put the look together and make it look like very glam like very like if you're gonna go to like prom or something 
Actually, the prom, prom is already canceled. So. so, but like, you get what I'm saying? Like, this is a very glam look. Very classy glam look. Look at my little Jesus picture. It's so cute, like bright and so nice. It's actually 3D, so when you move at different angles, it moves too. So this lipstick is by MAC, and it's the Ruby Wood. Ruby Woo, actually. I just think red looks really cute with everything, honestly. Red's a vibe. And... My mom's a very blunt person, so she'll tell me what's up. And she actually said she liked this red on me. So if my mom liked it, then it looks good on me. And just look how more like elegant and like glam it made it look. Hi guys, it's the evening of the next day and I had a couple of more questions that I wanted to answer just to make the video a little bit more longer. Um, this time I did write them right next to me, that way I can remember what the questions were. So the first question is, do you like fitness? Um, so mira que me gusta el fitness, si o no, wait, <laughs> just kidding. Um, Yes and no, there was a time in my life where I was going to the gym like every single day. I was like a gym freak. And then um, I just slowly started getting more bus busy. And I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but this is literally how it happened. I just started getting more busy. And I just saw myself like pulling myself more and more away from the gym. And then it just came to the point where I was just paying my gym membership and not even going at all. So let's just leave it like that for right now. <laughs> Um, I do hope to get back into the gym because I feel like quarantine kind of made me realize that I really do miss going to the gym. And yeah. Um, the next question is, what kind of tacos um, stop for you? My favorite tacos are carne asada. I like la lingua. I like um, al pastor. Um, the best tacos I've ever had though are from California, the smor Smorkishburg tacos they're so freaking good and they're like the best tacos i've ever had in my entire life till this day but they are expensive asf so yeah um the next question is love your page content how are you thank you so much um i'm doing pretty good i'm just ready to get out of quarantine i'm ready to go back to school finish school and yeah the next question is where do you see yourself in five years post more youtube videos i miss seeing yours um thank you i miss making youtube videos and i hope to be more um consecutively uploading more um in five years i see myself hopefully having my house already and like having my house built already um and having a steady career for myself I feel like I'm just, I've just been bouncing around in life and kind of seeing what's the best option for me as to what I want to do career-wise. The next question is, with everyone getting cosmetic surgeries, do you see yourself getting one? Um, I have been wanting to actually get one done. Not anytime soon though. Um, I don't want to get a breast lift and a reduction done and also possibly a tummy tuck. But I feel like I'd want to get to a certain goal weight first before I do that. And I think it's awesome that people are getting, like, their surgeries done. Not because, like, I think, it's, I just personally think it's awesome because I'm, like, it's something that they want to do to make themselves feel better. And at the end of the day, it's to each their own. So, like, if that makes somebody feel better about themselves, then, like, so be it, you know? And now I'm just going to finish drinking my little glass of wine and call it a day. It's already super late. It's like 11.01. So, yeah. Cheers.
if there's certain type of videos that you guys would want me to do let me know in the comment section down below i really really, really want to get back into doing more videos i really miss doing youtube um and i just hope i can just come back and start growing and start having more of you guys come watch the stuff i do so like i said if you there's any videos that you guys would like me to do please let me know down below if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up it will help me a lot um and yeah and if you have not if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe it would mean the world to me. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next one.